Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how to paint this High Warden from the Lumineth box set. This model is super super easy to paint and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. So let's get our paints and brushes and let's get to work. guys so this is what we're doing so i've sprayed the full model with uh, lead belcher uh, silver that's mainly because um the armor is going to be silver and it just saves time and the trims are going to be silver um i've put the basin on already uh, that's just so by the time the model's finished the base will be dry so you're not waiting around but obviously if you're doing like a squad of 10 I don't suppose it really matters, but this is just a single model that I'm painting. So guys, let's crack on. So, first colour we have is Cantor Blue. And what I'm doing is just painting all the fabrics. Now on this skirt part here, there's a nice line that you... It, basically where you, you got the trim there. Just follow that line. If you go over it, it's not a... You know, it's not the end of the world, but it just gives you a nice guideline there. And then obviously we've got this little um, part in here, just fill it in. So oh, already I've gone over them lines there, but I know when I come back with the silver, I can just graze over that and it'll come back. So what we're going to do is just go around the model, picking out all of the fabric. But also I'm going to do the plume. Here, and his shoulder pads there, but also on the back, this model has the uh, the shield uh, model to the back. Just going to paint this shield front part in Cantor blue. So when we come back, all them um, will be done. So now all that blue has been base coated in, and what I've done is I've gone back over the silver. Um, over the shield and stuff like that. So now what we're going to do is just paint in the robes. So I've gone for Zandri Dust, so a nice cream colour. So we've got the part in between here, just breaking the uh, the skirt part up there. So we've got this part here. But also, if I can get the camera to see, we have under the arm, so that's like the tricky part there. So just take your time when painting these in. And then we'll come back when they are done. Oh, also, before I forget, the um, flag things hanging off the back. Paint them in uh, Zandri Dust. All right, guys, let's go and do that. So there is all the, the cream done now. Oh, the Zandri Dust, sorry. So we've done the flag bits on the top, the little uh, wrap on the sword, and underneath his arms and also in between his legs. So now what we're gonna do is use Mornfang Brown and we're just gonna base coat in the sword. Um, is it called a scabbard? Basically where the sword goes. We're gonna just base coat that in there. Let's get a nice base coat of that down. And then once we've done that, we're gonna base coat the skin with Bugman's Glow. Right guys, we'll be back when that is done. So that is all the um, skin base coat. Now there's not much skin shown. You've got the two hands obviously and the little slit in the face. So what highlight we can do on them is going to be very minimal, but it's going to be a highlight nonetheless, but I'm going to highlight the model after the wash stage, obviously. So what we're going to do now, guys, is just add uh, another um, metallic colour into the um, the scheme. Because the normal guys, if you can see here, uh, are just all silver. So I want to like, incorporate maybe like a brass colour, so I think on the, on the front plate there. I'm gonna just do some Balthazar gold. Um, yeah, let's see how that turns out. 
So we get our Balthazar gold, water it down nice and thin, even though it is quite a, a watery colour, nonetheless, I'll move this guy out the way. Right, so, so this part on his chest is actually embossed as well, so it stands up. So you can use your Sardia brush here, or you can just use the tip, either way, just be very careful. And I must say, guys, after every step that I've done here, um, Mithril Silver, is it Mithril Silver? Bloody hell. Uh, lead Belcher, Mithril Silver, where'd that come from? So Lead Belcher is your friend. Basically, I've just tidied up every area that I've, uh, I've gone over. I do believe if you work neat, your models will look uh, neat. So yeah, we'll come back once all the gold, well, brassy gold parts are painted. Right, so we're literally coming up to the last part of the um, base coat stage. So what you've got left to do now is literally dust all the gems on the model itself. So what there is, is there's some in the plume part and there's one on the head. Um, there's a few on the sword and there's one on the shield. So what we're going to do is I'll just concentrate the one on the top of the, the head here. But basically... I'm going to base coat them in Mephiston Red and they are pretty easy to do not on camera like but <laughs> so yeah so just go around your model choose whatever colour you like uh, but Mephiston Red seems to work uh, quite nice uh, and we'll come back once that is all done So now we've painted or base coated all of the red gems uh, all around the model. So that is now the model really finished uh, base coating. Uh, obviously we've still got to paint this uh, stone at the bottom but we're going to do that later. So what we're going to do now is basically use some magic talent, uh, basically Northern Oil. And what we're going to do is literally just slap it all over. Need a bit more than that I think. A nice generous coat literally all over the model and we'll come back when all of this is dry right so we're now onto the highlighting stage after that wash so what we're going to do is go back to the Cantor blue and basically just smooth out the, the cloth part. I'm not going to worry so much about the plume because we're going to do some um, highlighting up with that. But let's just get our Cantor blue nice and watered down. And basically, we're just going to paint the bottom parts here just to get rid of any of that uh, shade, that null and oil that's kind of, well, not wouldn't say pooled, but it's give that horrible stained. Uh, coffee look you know so basically we just go round and paint the tops leave the shadows don't have to be too exact <laughs> leave the shadows and then go around on the shield as well So let's see if I can do this bit on camera. So to take your time, reapply the Cantor Blue. Obviously if you go over any of the silver, just retouch it up with a bit of uh, lead belcher. Hi right, guys, we'll be back in a minute. So the next colour we're going to introduce is uh, McCrag Blue. So we're going to do a 50-50 mix. Um, McCrag Blue and Cantor Blue. And again, I'm going to get that watered down nice. 
And again, what we're going to do is just concentrate just on the higher parts. Leaving the existing colour, the existing uh, cantor blue in the recesses. So just work your way around the model. You don't have to be too well. So you don't have to be too neat, just don't get it over any other colour, but, you know, turn your model so it's comfortable for you. Again, don't paint the recesses because you want that transition. And if your colours are watered down correct, you'll get a, a semi-automatic transition. So there's that. So next, what we're gonna do is do a little bit of edge highlighting. Right guys, we'll be back in a sec. Right, so what we're gonna do now is get a bit of Calgar blue, and we're just gonna, now don't go overboard with this, but literally just a few little lines here and there, just to emphasize. Now I know it looks a bit stark, is that the right word? But Trust me, it works. It really does work. Just gives that nice, if you can see it on camera, bloody hell, bit of highlight there, just on the knee, coming through. Obviously, you can use this to do um, like scuff marks and scratch marks, but depending how you want your cloth to. So look, let's just do little jaggy lines like that. But also, what we're going to do now is paint this plume. So, Cantor Blue is obviously the base coat that's been washed in all in oil. So you leave pretty much 75% of it and we're literally just going to paint on the top here. Try and just get the tips. Another technique that would work here if you know if you want to do get it over a number of quick is just dry brushing it. But obviously you've got to be just a little bit careful that you don't go over your other colours. But if you do you can obviously just reapply. And again, just use a side of your brush as well if you Struggle with shaky hand syndrome. All right, guys, we'll come back when this is done. Right, so now what we do is we get a little bit of Fenrisian grey and we literally just touch the top of each. Um, strand on this plume and then when you've got your highlight just a touch in the corners on the robes now obviously you don't have to go into this much detail when you're painting just your normal standard infantry but this guy is a little bit special Right guys, we'll come back when all that is done. Right guys, so the next colour we're going to do is the red gems. So we'll go back to our um, fist on red, just to brighten them back up. So brace yourself for you guys, if you can. Literally just skim over all the red. Try not to, if you can, get on the... Uh, the plumes that you've literally just painted. But if you do, it's not the end of the world. Everything can be fixed. So we just go around. Oh, what I've done as well, just painted the little tassel there on his uh, sword, um, fist on red. Now, 
Now obviously you can go mental on painting gems. Um, I find this is quite an easy way to do it. Obviously Games Workshop uh, have their gem paint range. So if you want to use that, you know, do it <laughs> basically. But this I like the old school way of painting. So next we will get some Evil Suns. And this is just a little dot on each um, gem. I just put it onto the top hopefully you can see that as easy as that there's that now this is the part which is a little bit different. I like to use a little bit of pink horror on mine. Instead of a white dot, I like to put a pink horror dot. I don't know why, I just like the look of it. So this literally goes, if I can zoom in, and it will focus. You know, focus. No, I don't know. <laughs> literally, a little dab on the bottom. And to be fair, you probably won't even see it on the camera. But in person, it's there. I mean, by all means, go back over and you can actually put a, a little dot of white if you want to go to that extreme. And to be fair, I think I might. Let's see if I can find my white. Yeah, so I've got a bit of ceramite white here. Oh god, that needs shaking up a bit. I'll come back when it's shaking up, guys. Right, guys, so we are back. I've changed my brush as well. So we now have a insane detail brush from the Army Painter. And we literally just have a little dot of white there. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. Thing we're working with with this paint it does dry quite a bit and I don't have a a wet palette <laughs> which is a nightmare there we go that's better that's better Right, so that is the gems done. Next will be the cloth. So now we're going to go back over the um, fabric part. So there's Andrew Dust basically. So we've left, we're going to leave the um, shade in the recesses. And basically paint everything else. Don't forget, obviously, the uh, the banners. You can just skim over these because you still want to get the, uh, the shadows and stuff in the, uh, the the creases. 
we'll come back guys when all this is done. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is a bit of Rackarth flesh. Just use a side ear brush and that'll just pick out all the edges of the uh, cream cloth. And on the well, banner pole, I suppose, whatever it's called, the top there. And obviously just painting the higher areas of the uh, the banner. Alright guys, we'll be back when that's done. So that's them done now guys. So what we're gonna do is just well we'll come to the end really. So we're just gonna reapply some uh skin tone, some well what is it, Bugman's glow, just to the hands, just to brighten them up a bit. It's not much flesh um, on this model, literally just the two hands and the little part you can see in the, uh, the helmet. So you can't really go to town on this, but what you uh, do see, you might as well make a little bit of effort with. So pick out the individual fingers. Literally just skim over it. And then when it comes to the face, just run your brush down like that, down the, the centre, and that'll leave all the, the nice uh, shadows and stuff. And then when it comes to the eyes, just paint around the eye and be as careful as you can. Just realised I was off camera there, sorry guys. And that's that. So we are getting there now, guys. So the silver looks a bit dull now. So what we're going to do is just go back over this silver and just brighten a few parts up. But yeah, that is the model pretty much done. We'll, we'll put some um, highlights on that brown as well. So now what I've done is I've just added a little bit of Rackarth flesh into the mix for um, a highlight. So we've got Bugman's Glow and Rackarth Flesh. And I'm literally just putting these on the knuckles of the skin. And again, it's on his nose and his mouth. Just like whatever area I can actually get into. Being off camera there guys, I do apologise. And there we go guys, that is the model part of it finished really. Um, now we're just going to concentrate on the base. So what we're going to do guys is get a bit of steel legion drab and we're going to paint in the um, the rock thing whatever it is looks like a pillar of some sort we'll paint all this in basically just get a base coat of this down. We'll be back when that is done. So we've base coated the stone in uh, Steel Legion Drab. Now what we're going to do is just get a bit of Agrax Surf Shade, load that up on your brush and literally we're just going to paint it all over, get into them nooks and crannies and whatever just to add a bit of depth Bit of shadow into that part of the model and then leave it a dry for maybe 20 30 minutes just to make sure it's proper dry because the next part uh, really needs it to be dry because we're going to do some 
dry brushing. So there we go guys. We'll be back once it is all dry. So guys, we are now onto the final stage. So what we're gonna do is literally just dry brush the bit the base. So get yourself uh, well, I'm choosing Rakarth Flesh to do uh, my dry brushing with, but whatever base colour you're going to do, crack on with it. Um, and what I'm using as well is an old, I'll say an old makeup brush, it's just a makeup brush. These are really, really cool for dry brushing. So, here we go guys, and literally just drag it over, all that texture, get it onto the base as well. <laughs> And it'll bring out all that nice detail. Now on the stone itself, I try and go a little bit harder uh, than what you would do on the base. Just so it brings out all the, uh, the details. And guys that is as easy as you're gonna get so that is the model finished so the next shot you'll see is a nice little fancy uh, pan around and see what the model looks like in 360 all right guys let's go take a look so there we go guys that is the model all finished and completed a few easy steps Nothing really too complicated to do and a great result, I hope you agree. So guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel for more content. Alright guys, I'll see you all on the next one.